So hello and welcome to the Orchid Sag. I'm over here. <laughs> um, yeah, we have an unboxing. Uh, like the title suggests, I thought, well, uh, let's go uh, terrestrial. <laughs> let's uh, buy some uh, ground orchids or garden orchids, uh, they are called. And uh, most of them I will uh, try to grow here in my greenhouse. And a few of them uh, will go uh, outside in the garden. And hopefully we can have a look uh, during the year and see how they will do in our, our garden. Because uh, my husband, uh, he's more for the garden. He was very inspired uh, as well when I talked about these uh, terrestrial orchids. To buy a few of them that should be uh, doing okay in our climate. But uh, like I said, the rest will uh, be um, in, uh, in the greenhouse. So therefore I start this unboxing so we can follow them along and see how they, uh, they will do. Um, so yeah, I did open only the tape, the box, because we have some information there that I, uh, personal information, so I keep it over there. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's open the box and let's see what we have. Um, well, actually we have quite a few of them. And I also see already a few leaves. So let's uh, grab the first one. And Luckily I did get my scissors. And this is the first one. It's a uh, Calanta Discolor. It has also a... Uh, let me uh, show you the tag. I will uh, zoom in a little bit. Calanta Discolor. And I have a, 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 another Calanta. Uh, I think it's the this color, maybe Alba version. So I thought it would be nice to add this one uh, to the collection as well. So I'm not sure what to do. I may, I see a root here. I may uh, get it out and uh, put it in a self watering because my other one is doing very well in a self watering setup. But for now, it will stay in a pot so it can uh, acclimate a little bit in my uh, conditions. That's the first one, and then we have another one. Also with leaves, some of them will uh, go dormant in winter, but so far. This is a Calante Siboldii, Calante Siboldii, a beautiful yellow one. And I really like my yellow blooms, so I thought, yeah, this is a uh, probably going to be a, a very nice one to add to the collection. And we do have probably two new growths, something uh, growing there. I'm not sure what it will be. I think new growths with probably uh, bringing new spikes, something like that. But I'm not sure, I'm uh, not very experienced with these uh, guys, so therefore I thought it would be ni a nice experiment. to see how they will do. In my greenhouse. This is a very small one. Dactylorisa fuchsia, fuchsia hybrid. Let me uh, stand up so you can see it a little bit easier. But it's very it's just starting to put out a new uh, growth. This one will be uh, for in the garden. We have these types uh, in the wild here as well, and we might visit them this summer, so we can, uh, can show it to you guys. But uh, it's the same family, if I'm correct, as this one. So that one is for, uh, for my husband, and will be uh, planted in the garden, like I said. Let's check another one. Oops, there was a two in one. Oops. These are the same. Beltilla striata yellow. Let me show you the tag. These are the same one. So I'm not sure if I ordered two of them. I thought I did only order one, but I will check. Maybe I have a freebie or just order two. But it's also something yellow, always good. <laughs> Oops. Another 
And the next one. Also two, I believe, or three. I'm not sure. Beltilla or Beltilla Penway Dragon. That's the first one. Beautiful blooms, so hopefully it will do well in my care. And the next one is the Epipactus Epipactus Paulustris. Paulustris. I'm sorry, I try my best, but um, also very nice one. Um, I'm not sure if this one should go in a garden. Probably, I think my husband ordered this one. But this one, uh, this Beltilla, will stay in a greenhouse. And let's check the next one. to go in the to the garden same uh, same family and it's this opening there so probably starts shooting out already so let's put it there then we have this one also something yellow <laughs> as far as I could see Also an epipactus something gigantica, so that may suggest that this one is getting uh, very large. Also a beautiful one. I'm not sure which one uh, we decided to put in the garden and which one to keep in the greenhouse, but we will find out. Oops. If you. Bulbs. Some to be uh, planted on by myself. A Plenoi, Plenoi Formosana, Formosana. Formosana. Yeah, I think these are uh, the same ones. I probably did get three. I think there was a. Uh, other way you could get three bulbs and uh, they deliver three baskets as well, so it's very nice. So these can absolutely grow into my inorganic media, or at least I will try. I know some people say, no, no they need this and this uh, sort of uh, uh, media to grow and I believe that of course, but I just want to try it out. I can't help myself, I just, I just want to see if it, if it works with inorganic as well. Just to be... Uh, out of curiosity, she also did put in some uh, some media to put those in, so that's very nice. But I don't think I'm going to use it, I'm not sure, but that's the reason. And this is the last orchid. This one is, uh, has leaves as well already. This is a beautiful one. Absolutely. This is the uh, also a calante and an takani. Takani, I think. Takani. Takani, I think. Takani. I'm sorry guys, <laughs> little interruption here. It sounded like somebody was at the door, at my greenhouse door, it was like... Uh... Do you hear that? 
Yeah, well, let me show you who does that. <laughs> so it's really like someone is knocking on the door here. But we have visitors, but you cannot see them here. Can we hear them? No, let's uh, open the door. They will not like that, but they will come back. Let me uh, clear the door here. So we can uh, go outside. Do we hear them? I don't know if you can hear them. They are enjoying the sun. But they were knocking on the door. <laughs> So funny. Oops. There we go. Sorry guys, don't want to make it dishy. But where are they? Oh that's funny. Oh they must have heard me. They were here in the corner knocking knocking on the door and yes, there they are. Let's zoom in. Yes, you guys. You were knocking on the door, <laughs> and I really thought someone, somebody was uh, was trying to get in. <laughs> but obviously our chickens were interrupting our filming, so uh, let's go inside again. They are so funny. So we are uh, back in the greenhouse, so I really was <laughs> like, who the heck is uh, knocking on that door? Because it's so not... Um, uh, yeah, easy to reach. You basically have to go to the garden, so it doesn't make sense. You obviously would go to the front door, I uh, I think. <laughs> so I was like, seriously, who is here in uh, in uh, visiting the garden? But now we know, now we know. So if you ever hear that knocking sound uh, again in my videos, you know the chickens are there, enjoying the the sun. So uh, I don't mind, but um, I found it really funny. I never had it happen before. So, uh, anyhow, this was the last one uh, we uh, were talking about. And let me try to show you um, the blooms. Beautiful orange one. I really, really, really looking forward to this one as well. So this one is the last one out of the box. Let me give an a overview of all the ordered orchids for this one. And as you can see, they start already making new growths. So probably a nice time to do a repot on them uh, pretty soon. So here are all the orchids that we did order. Let's have a last view, so you can have a last look. And so yeah, my plan is to uh, grow them uh, as much inorganic as I can. I, I, I think I will try all of them. And for um, exception of the, I think that those three will go into the garden. So um, we will have a revisit somewhere this summer probably, but the rest I will try uh, into, uh, like I said, self-watering system, and let's see how they do. Well, actually, we can have a look at my Galante that I already have, and uh, because that one is doing very well, let's get a look over there. Because then I can also show you that I would like to grow the new orchids in this area. This is the coldest area of my greenhouse. It's currently uh, 16 degrees. Um, so yeah, the time is not right, but anyhow, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, one it says 16, the other one says 18. Let's zoom in, this one says 18. Probably if it's around 18, it will uh, be in the reservoirs around 16. So a bit colder than the rest of the um, greenhouse. But these uh, ground orchids, do not mind. And here's my Calante. As you can see, those growths are already a bit bigger than the ones we just uh, did get. And it looks like something is in there. Uh, probably a new leaf, I'm not sure. And, oops, let me see. We have starting new roots here. And we also had quite a root system, so let me try to grab this. Yeah, you can see. This one has a heck of a lot of roots inside of the pot. All inorganic. So that's the first terrestrial orchid that likes this. At least. <laughs> uh, but I must admit, this is another one. And this one I did... It starts a new growth, so that's beautiful. 
it's this one and uh, but I don't have see roots yet in a pot so this growth is from last year late last year I think I'm not sure but it wasn't as happy but at least it's starting to make a new growth so it will do better I think and we have an eye over there so maybe two new growths so yeah that's an uh, upcoming uh, experiment here on the Orchid Saga so uh, I hope you enjoy it and I probably will do a uh, repot on them and then we have a nice new series to add on my channel so for now thank you for watching and as usual if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and if you didn't already have please consider subscribing to my channel that would be awesome of course so um, for now, I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.